Hi there, in this Adobe Creative Cloud InDesign video, we'll take a look at how we can add alternate layouts. So when the end user turns their iPad, we have to create a lay layout for that situation. So for, presently, it's a portrait orientation. We want to create, uh, sorry, it's a landscape orientation. We want to create a portrait orientation. So I'm going to move over to my second page. Sorry, my first page. And this little object here is what I'm interested in. I want this to remain where it is regardless of the orientation of the page. So I always, always want it to be top left. So if I choose liquid layout here, I choose object based, and I choose, choose top and left. And I can collapse that liquid layout. Now if I click on my little page tool here, this indicates that it will indeed remain where it is in relation to the top left. So if I click on this little button here, it should remain exactly the same distance from the top and left that it was in the other layout. And then I click back. Now I want to add an alternate layout by using my pages panel. So if I go window, pages, and then under the little menu here, I can choose create alternate layout. I'm going to use iPad V for a name from source pages, iPad H, page size, iPad, and I'll make sure I choose the vertical orientation. I don't need to change anything else, so I'll choose OK. And you see we get a brand new column with nothing but a vertical layout. So if I double click on this one, it looks good already because the only thing we needed to change was that logo. This was already designed to work for either a vertical or a horizontal layout. If we look at the second page here, however, it doesn't exactly fit. So what I'm going to do is just remove all of the content from this page and then copy and paste it from this page and rearrange it so it fits nicely. So I'm going to grab my selection tool. I'm going to make sure I have something in my layout selected in the present page selected that is. I'll choose control A. That selects everything on the present page and I'm just going to delete that. I'm just going to double click on my hand tool to resize my page to fit the work area. And I'm going to go back to front two and I'm going to grab all of this material. Um, this is, I'm going to use these two buttons here this content collector and content placer. So, what this does is it allows us to copy a bunch of content instead of one piece of content. At, at a time. It's, and what we're going to be doing with this is very similar to what we did with the um, desktop to iPhone layout or phone layout that we did with our website. So if I click on my little content collector tool, I'm going to click on the video. I'm going to click on this blue background. I'm going to click on that blue background again. I just got the logo here. If you click on the blue background, there's two pieces there. I'm going to click on To the Cliffs and the Perfect Campsite. Can't really see the text there, but just trust that it all came with that click. So basically, that's like copying and pasting those objects. And now we can choose which ones we want to paste. I'm just going to get rid of my Pages panel for now. Well, actually, I'm just going to go back to Front 2. Double click on that and get rid of my Pages panel. So I'm going to start with this one here. So the one that's selected, when I use this button, is the one that will be placed. So I'm just going to put that across the top, just to the right edge, like that. And then I can fit that object as well. So I'll choose Object, Fitting, fit content to frame. A little better. And 
I'm going to grab this one next. So if I just use the right arrow on my keyboard, that'll select what I'm pasting. I'm just going to drag that down and I just want to drag that over half of the bottom part there. So once it reaches halfway, I'll be happy there. So you can um, resize what you're placing by dragging with your mouse. You can reposition what you're pacing when you hold down the space bar and dragging with your mouse. So I'm going to resize. That should be halfway right there. And now I just want to move that down to the bottom. So if I use my space bar, I could just move that down. There we go. When I'm happy with it, I can just let go of my mouse button and let's let go of my space bar. And now my content placer tool is now loaded up with the next object, and that's what I want. So again, I'm just going to move that up to the top there and drag until it's to the right edge there. And that looks pretty good to me. That might be a little big, so if you need to re reposition. Oh, I think it's good. It's just the dimension arrows that's making me think it's too big. And I let go of my mouse, and there we have it. Next thing I'll add is this uh, blue background. So I'm just going to drag up so I can see that white area. I'm just going to fill this whole white area with it. So I'm going to click on my arrow tool until I have the blue background, and then do the same thing I did previously. There we go, looks good. Now I'm just going to drag it right to the top edge of those. And then I'm going to resize it. I'll resize it after I place this second piece. Notice I can't resize until I place this object. So I'm just going to place that roughly in the center. That looks pretty good to me. And then I'll use my selection tool select my blue rectangle and I'm just going to drag that to the edge and grab my selection tool again click on my logo there and I could just use my arrows on my keyboard so that's um, basically creating some alternate layouts again we just had this thing retain its position and distance from the the edges of the layout. This one we used our content collector and content placer to grab a bunch of stuff at the same time and then paste it one by one into that layout. Um, as far as previewing this, um, back in uh, an earlier version of InDesign we could actually preview from within the InDesign uh, program. Uh, that's not the case anymore. It, in order to actually see this, we need to uh, share it with our actual iPad, and then we can view it on our iPad. So there's instructions in my notes about how to do that um, if you want to embark on something like this. But uh, again, the focus of the actual lesson is to create the layouts that would be required once we rotate our actual iPad. Thanks so much for watching.